Hi, my name's Mike, and this is my CircuitVent Casio PT30 keyboard. I added this control panel with a pitch section, with a uh, pitch adjustment, LFO, an LED rate indicator uh, that controls the pitch. Uh, it's a switching pot, so it turns on and then back off. Then there's uh, three toggles for the drum mod section, and then five mutes. Uh, toggles for kick, snare, hat, low chord, and the Nova, Sa Nova Samba Tom, which only affects those two patterns. Um, and then I painted the board, or the panel here, as close to the original with an almond color. And then, it's hard to see, but this is actually brown, and the Casio is written in brown. So I painted in the lines in brown, and then tried to match the control with orange as well as an orange LED. Okay, so here's the inside of the keyboard. Um, there are two main boards here, uh, and they're kind of flipped facing each other, and there's a main ribbon cable connecting the two. That original ribbon cable is a very stiff wire and ends up breaking very easily at one of the ends. I had a ton of problems with it. I ended up just pulling that whole ribbon cable out and soldering a new one in, uh, just my own from like a hard drive cable, and no issues after that. Um, also, the cable, they start at uh, G and end at 16, so I'm just going to be counting, uh, counting basically 1 through 16 as numbers, and then I um, ran out the, the points that I needed to. So for the, the kick, snare, and hat mutes, they're actually actually cutting traces on the board or cutting points on the board which I'll show in a second so they're not wired to the pins but all the other controls are wired to that this ribbon connection right here um, so for the the low chord it's 6 and 15 so count out 6 and then 15 for the um, the Nova Samba Tom mute that would be 9 and 15 so 15 was a common one um, and then I, I just jumped 15 over here on the controls to the other switch. Um, 
for the drum mod number one, it's pins 11 and 10. For drum mod number two, it's 11 and 9. And then number three, it is 15 and 13. And you can see I did actually run out a few other wires. So if you are interested in bending this model, you might want to look at 3, 8, 5, and 7. Some, some things on those, but those were the most interesting things I could find. And then for the LFO, I used a 555 timer and built it directly onto the back of a switching pot. Um, a pot that there's a click so it turns on and off and that on and off turns the power so I run the power for the LFO through that switch and then that LFO feeds um, an LED a DIY Vactrol an LED that is heat shrunk on, on to, directly onto a light dependent resistor and that light dependent resistor wires up into this uh, the pitch um, pot uh, and then the pitch pot wires back to the original trimmer adjustment on, on the board. So now I'll take the boards back apart to show you where the drum mutes are. Okay, I just folded open the board, sort of like that, to show the ki uh, kick, snare, and hat mutes. The, now the, all the other toggle control switches are connecting points but the kick, snare, and hat mutes are actually disconnecting points. So it's disconnecting it when it's muted and connecting it in the normal state. So how I did that, just used some ribbon cable and broke two conductors off for each. And the snare runs over to these two diodes on this corner. I just lifted them up, soldered them together, soldered one conductor down through onto the board and the other to those two diodes. And then the same thing over here for the hat is this bottom most resistor here. One conductor through on the board, the other to that lifted resistor. And then for the kick, again the same thing here. Uh, that resistor and then through on the board. And then these uh, conductors all run back to toggle switches on toggle switches on the control panel. And those toggle switches are flipped in relation to the others. So basically down is up and up is down. So everything normally is down in the on position and up to mute it.